convert entity now here i have a plane just 300 millimeter far from this body now i want to copy this sketch on this plane so simply we will use convert entity now click on the plane a sketch now just check isometric view now here go to convert entity in sketch tab now here you will see entity to convert now i am going to select one two these two lines simply say okay now look these two lines are placed on this plane press ctrl z undo now again i am going to select convert entity if i am going to choose this face say okay now the whole face is going to convert uh, on this plane press ctrl z undo again i am going to activate convert entities now here i am going to select this face and here you will see inner loops selection chain works when there is a tangent curves are there that time you can choose select change inner loop one one by one even though you can choose one by one or simply uncheck and here click select all inner loops say okay look this all holes are converted again i am going to select convert entity this face okay see now there is a why we used to cho choose convert entity you will see there is one relation on edge on edge means these dimensions are controlled by previous sketch let's say exit and i am going to edit this edit now let's move somewhere here make this 400 also let me change this position now exit go to c converted entities also change so this is how convert entity controls the dimension according to previous sketch don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching